Cyber Doge. 2077 Meme Runner! That's right, yep, this is a meme game. It's an auto runner. It uh, features a big, thick boy, Doge. Uh, it is part of Doge lore, unofficially. Uh, you do run around and collect coins. I kind of believe I'm covering this game, but on a day like today, I feel like it was, uh, well, on a day like tomorrow, because Coinbase Pro is picking it up. So it's just another thing that's going to push Doge over the top of there. It's going to crash again like it always does. <sighs> I figured it's the best time to go and put this kind of video out. So, um, it is an auto runner. You do play this dummy thick boy right here. You got Godzilla Legendary Edition going on in the background there. Um, and you have some coin you can upgrade over here if you like. Uh, I've already got a couple upgrades, one in each, 1500 for the next one. They're accumulative, so you just basically continue running and collecting coins. So eventually you get everything unlocked. It just takes a lot of time depending on how bad or good you are. Um, I am, uh, I would say I'm probably middle of the road. In terms of a, um, uh, in terms of an auto runner, in terms of auto runners in general, uh, the game is, you know, it's pretty good. <laughs> it's got a number of features that are actually not that bad. Okay, well, uh, <laughs> it's got a number of games that's just, you know, a number of features that it's just like, you know, it just, it really shows that they, they try to make this a relatively feature full, feature full, uh, feature packed experience so for example uh yeah you can you can move your three lanes here you can move left right of course uh you can also jump and then uh, uh see you can roll like this and then you can combine the two you can jump and if you desperately need to get down on the ground let's say you jump and you're just like oh snap you can push down and you can dive uh which makes it very handy for dodging certain things as they come out uh as you can see the frame rate the frame rate can be a little choppy at times it's probably not the most optimized game thing i got a 980 ti it's not a 3080 ti of course but uh, oh, it's one of these. There we go. Boom, 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 boom. Rack them up, rack them up. So you could jump and dive just like that, and that really makes it easier to uh, to get a lot of these other coins. I don't know if any of you guys are gonna pick this thing up. <laughs> it's just there's no other time to really push a game like this except for when Doge is doing Doge things, and that's exactly what Doge is doing. Uh, <laughs> it's doing Doge things. The game is dollar ninety nine, but uh, we, come on, man, we gotta do something good. Star Trek's actually not that bad either. I just, I just, I just, I just, funny, I just raised the slider on my, uh, mixer, but that doesn't make any difference for you guys in the same volume the whole time. Whoop! There we go. Now, you, the game will eventually speed up if I could, uh, stop talking for a moment and just focus, or just maybe try to be good at games while talk. What the heck? Urgh! Uh, then I'll be able to actually make it to the point to where it starts speeding up, because it does get pretty hectic, uh, later on down the road. Uh, for those of you guys unfamiliar with Doge, well... Doge was originally created as a meme coin back when cryptocurrency uh, was uh, first kind of getting some of the mainstream. People were, um, were were picking up on what it is. What the fuck's wrong with me? Uh, we're picking up on what it was. You know, Bitcoin was starting to kind of you know take off, and everyone was like, you know what? Freaking, I can make a coin. Everyone's had a coin. There was a coin for everything. Linus Linus Tech Tips has a coin. Like Linus Coin or some shit, I don't care what it's called. Uh, but everyone's got a coin at this point. There was some a regular ass content creator. Oh, I missed that thing. Uh, regular ass content creators that had their own coin and all that stuff. And I was just like, well, this is ridiculous. I mean, there's uh, Ar Legger, if you guys know Arc Legger is, he used to work on H1Z1. Uh, he has his own coin, I, I believe, which is it's just it's just silly to me. It's just silly. Uh, now he's a big cryptocurrency person, so maybe he um, maybe he figured out the secret, and maybe eventually his coin will be the best. Who knows? Uh, but I am somebody who has been dabbling in cryptocurrency for a while. I do have a lot of Doge. I do have my own sob stories with Doge. At the same time, I've had my successes with Doge. Overall, I am up. I can't complain. I'm up. I've, I've been up on Doge for a very long time. Um, and, you know, I'm, I can't complain about that. However, at one point in time, I did have 92,000 Dogecoin at a rate of less than a penny each. So when you look at whatever the number is, just multiply that by 92,000. And that's how much money I threw away. Uh, <laughs> I'm serious. It cost me basically nothing. 92,000. Okay, no, it cost me a lot. But the return could have been huge. But you know, I'm a bitch ass with paper hands. So, uh, you know, I, I decided to go ahead and sell and be safe. And what happened? I missed out on some fat fucking, fat fucking coin, man. My wallet. Uh, but it's cool. Overall, like I said, still up, still good. And just uh, just watching every time some certain someone tweets about Doge. The shit takes off. And now Coinbase Pro is going to be supporting it, which Coinbase Pro is a, oh, is a huge uh, cryptocurrency 
wallet you can buy and sell cryptocurrency on there uh and you know frankly you know I, if you haven't been getting into cryptocurrency like it's 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 really no big deal um it's all about you know people are trying to make money with money and as you know with anything related to that stock market you know cryptocurrency of course uh anything flipping houses and everything anytime you're trying to make money with money uh you're, you're gonna have losses you're gonna have losses you're gonna have uh, you're gonna have gains, you're gonna have fat gains, and then you're gonna have fat losses, right? You make some shitty decisions, and then you're gonna lose some. Um, the biggest, the biggest thing that everybody will tell you is that you need to whatever money you put in it has to be money that you're willing to lose, and that's it. Um, the money that I have in, I've already taken out what I've put in, so therefore everything that is now in circulation is pretty much profits. Um, and so if I lose it all, yes, it would be painful. If I don't make the gains that I was hoping to make in certain situations situations with certain uh, investments so then you know at least it's money that um that I've, I've basically made with money now it's still like i said it's not foolproof <laughs> of course you've probably heard of lots of people just basically losing money or maybe you haven't because they don't say anything um but the biggest thing is with crypto for me is just hold just hold you know it's like even though doge is probably going to be taken off today it'll, it'll, it'll probably turn around and crash again uh or it might just crash because you never freaking know with this stuff right um it will uh, inevitably we're speeding up now here we go finally finally got to the point. oh gosh i forgot about this um <clears throat> you will inevitably uh oh god you hit these cars too gotta be careful let's go down now go i'm freaking out a little bit it's gonna move little... oh dang it 1210 almost enough for another upgrade go dang it oh, he's got a cute butt uh, <laughs> here you go dog bank let's do this more coins per coin let's do it <sighs> oh, is it three times per i think looks like it that could be incorrect though i'm not sure Anyway, so yeah, if you want to get into it, just make sure you're putting money to it that you can afford to lose. That's the number one advice that anybody who tells you that they're not giving you financial advice will give you. Uh, so I'm here to do the same thing. Um, it is it is a game. It's actually kind of a community thing, which is really strange. You know, like we have our own uh, uh, stonks. Uh, <laughs> uh, stonks uh, chan oh, channel on Discord. Uh, and, you know, there's people in there just talking about their gains and their losses and just, uh, you know, trying to speculate on things that are going to go up. AMC is going up. Uh, which is crazy. GME, uh, GameStop, we've covered that a number of times on news, is is just chilling. $260, no problem. Uh, yeah, man, stock market's weird. And it's great that the that the people who are you know, previously not investing are investing and showing that they're not afraid to hold. <laughs> they're not here to make bucks, you know, big bucks on every single trade every single day. So they're just, you know, I'm just going to hold on to this and just keep the price up just because I can. You know, I got nothing to bet. I got nothing to lose. I already lost that money anyways. Uh, and they do. And what happens is the price just basically stays exactly where it's at. Just like James GameStop has. And now all of a sudden the AMC is taking off. By the way, I also sold my AMC. Um, I was really smart about that. I had 78 shares at oh, a pretty high price. But uh, now it's well beyond. It was like $16 or $15. And now it's at uh, at current. At current uh, it's at, I think it's at like 50 something maybe. So, you know, there's money lost there. But like I said, you win some, you lose some. I've been winning very slowly, and that's what I suggest you do if you decide. It's not financial advice, but you know, uh, or financial advice. Whoa! Uh, but yeah, I suggest that you uh, be prepared to lose some. It's all a fucking game. It's all a fucking scam. I'm just glad that the private investors are able to get in there and get their get their feet wet and dirty up dirty up the. Uh, what am I supposed to do there, man? I jumped uh, and dirty up the uh, the market a little bit for all the people who. Uh, who uh who do this for, for full time fuck those guys <laughs> let's see um so motorcycle i guess is what more probably more coins on the motorcycle this is uh let's do this fat piggy bank here five thousand on the next one no wonder i think the first one was like 500 uh, let's keep going yeah strangely like this game is actually like i said it's not um it's not great you know it's just it's just a fucking runner it's just themed to get with something that i uh that i appreciate <laughs> something that i recognize you know uh, it's like if you were playing uh, the Sonic Auto Runner, whichever one that was. There's like two of them, I think. Um, it's like, you know, maybe it wasn't the best Auto Runner, but you know what? It was Sonic. <laughs> I gotta go fast, you know? Uh, it was a hell of a lot faster than this, though. There's actually some Sonic uh, Colors uh, levels that were uh, you know, very Auto Runner-esque, which are you know, obviously pretty great on the Wii. They're gonna be even more amazing, I guess, on the Switch. We'll see. We'll see. Ooh, oh, woo. Oh. Although I will say that the DS versions were lackluster. Uh, they tried really hard to put Sonic Colors on on uh, on the DS, and man, sometimes it's just a little too fast. Come on, go, 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 go. 
Let's go. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's get the coin. Look at that coin racking up. Look at that coin racking up. I'm supposed to duck underneath that long bar, by the way. So yeah, I'm recording this uh, the day before. I'm putting it out. I have a couple of games. I was going to actually pair this up with another auto runner game that was actually pretty good. Um, like seriously, actually pretty good. Like this game is, it's, it's not bad for a dollar 99, but the other game I have, uh, that I have, uh, I'll, I'll just kind of keep that one for a rainy day. Uh, it's actually like really good. Whoa. Oh, 474. We're good. Um, and I was going to make it like a duet, you know, like have like two videos in one, but you know what, man, Doge is special. Doge is something special is literally going to the moon next year. Unless, of course, Elon just, you know, wakes up with a wild hair up his ass or whatever. Just like, you know what? I'm deciding I'm not going to do that anymore. And then, of course, the, cra the price is going to crash. Because that's what it does. That's what it does. Everything you do in life is going to affect Doge somehow. <laughs> and you never know how it's going to affect it. Coinbase is going to let and everyone's going to be like, oh, snap. Coin money's going to go up. But what's happening the day before? Uh, the money, the coin is going up right now. The day before, so it's gonna go up, it's gonna overinflate, and then people are gonna, everyone's gonna have access to it, and then no one's gonna wanna trade it because it'll be too expensive. <laughs> so the price will go down, people will panic sell, and we start the whole thing over again. Did I say you guys should get involved in cryptocurrency? Don't do it. <laughs> don't do it. Just don't do it. Just stay out of it. It's just, it's not fun. <laughs> Whoa! Here we go. Duck. Good. Here we go. Get this. I don't like the song. But I can't hit the tab button right now. Now I can right here. There we go. Here we go. Give me some. Whoa. There we go. Yeah. Yo! Damn, what a jump. What a jump. What a good boy. You have a 2x. Whoa. Down. Good boy. <laughs> Dummy thick. D oh! Grr! Dang it! Uh, in terms of options, I mean, you know. It's a very well laid out UI. <laughs> so, uh, you know, it's $1.99. You can pick it up right now on Steam if you'd like. Um, it's, it's all, it's Doge, man. It's Doge. Or, or, you know you can do? You can spend that $1.99 and pick yourself up like, um... What, like, five doge or something? <laughs> Look at his butt. Look at his butt. That's it. My name is Mike B, a.k.a. Phony. Thank you so much for watching. The game is called Cyber Doge 2077 Meme Runner. Oh, God, how could I even forget? You could get different doggos, too. <laughs> So, you know, if you were, uh, if this was a turning point for you, you could be like, hey, guess what? 